morning guys today is saturday it is september 18th and our yoga in the park got rained out so we are here uh together on youtube we're going to spend the next hour together letting go of stress breathing and kind of resetting our being Remember that this is your own practice, so do what you need to do for yourself for the next hour. I'm gonna go ahead and start with some relaxation. Let's lie down on our mats and let our arms be restful at our sides. Allow your palms to open face to the sky. Close your eyes and let's breathe deeply in through the nose, expanding your belly back and rib cage as you inhale. And exhale out through the nose as well, feeling that same area of your body contract and empty. As you're breathing in through the nose and out through the nose, just bring some awareness to your face. Relax your eyes. Relax your jaw. Relax the muscles in your neck. Let's guide our breath into our arms and breathe from our shoulders to our fingertips. Go ahead and guide your breath into your legs. So we'll start at our hips. Breathe all the way out to the tips of your toes. Now let's guide our breath into our spine and we'll breathe from the top of our head all the way down to the tip of our tailbone, letting our breath weave itself in between each segment of our spine. From there, let's inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale back behind us and let's reach out through all of our fingers and then push out through the heels of your feet and really stretch your body long and straight. Allow everything go to go soft. We'll inhale the arms back up and exhale, return them to your sides. From there, let's go ahead and pull our left knee up to the chest. Give it a close hug and then we'll flex and point our foot. Let's roll the ankle around, lead with your big toe. And then let's reverse. Allow your foot to rest. And then switch the legs. In goes the right, out goes the left. Same thing, let's flex and point. Draw that easy circle around and then reverse. And then allow your foot to rest. Now let's bring both knees in. Give yourself a nice giant hug. And while we got the knees hugged in, we've got the shoulders relaxed and open against the mat. Let's gently rock from side to side, massaging either side of our spine. Come back to neutral and let's circle our knees around and around. And then let's reverse. And let's keep the knees tucked in nice and close. From there, let's tighten the belly, press through the back of the ribs. Round up so your nose comes close to your knees, chin is close to your chest. And release back down. Again, scoop the belly, round up nose to knees, chin to chest. And release down. Once more, scooping the belly and round up nose to knees, chin to chest. And release back down. From there, let's set the right foot down on the floor and simply extend your left leg towards the sky. Push out through the heel and try to spread your toes out really wide and then scrunch them up as tight as you can. 
Spread them open wide. Scrunch them up really tight. And then just let your foot relax. Try to bring the leg a little bit closer to your body. Let's release the leg. Lead with your heel and pull it all the way back to the mat. Once there, we'll slide that foot back into place and switch. Bring the right knee in. Send the leg up towards the sky. Start by flexing your foot and spreading your toes open really wide. Scrunch them up tight. Spread wide. Scrunch tight. Once more, spread wide and scrunch tight. And then let your foot relax. Good, and then we're gonna slowly lower that leg all the way down. Once we've made it back down, let's rebend the knee. And again, pull the knees in close to the body for that gentle hug. And a few more rocks from side to side. And then a few more knee circles around and around. And then let's reverse. And then just keep the knees tucked in close. Let's take one more big inhale. As we exhale and we feel the belly pull tighter and tighter, let's bring ourselves to an upright position. And we'll come into our easy cross leg position. Allow your palms to open face to the sky. Feel the shoulders fall away from your ears. Lengthen your spine from the tailbone to the top of your head. Let your chin fall to your chest and breathe into the back of your neck. Lift the head to back and open your throat. Again, dropping chin to chest. Lift the head to back, open the throat. Once again, the chin comes to our chest. We lift our head into back and open our throat. And then let's return to that neutral place. While we're sitting taller and straighter, we're gonna turn our head to look over that right shoulder. Come back to center, let's turn to look left. Back through center and turn to look right. Back through center, turn to look left. And then return to center. And allow your chin to drop against your chest. Now let's roll that right ear to the right shoulder. Drop the chin and we'll roll left. Drop the chin and roll to the right. Dropping the chin and roll to your left. Dropping your chin. And then let's bring the head back to our neutral place. Place your hands together at your heart center. Let's inhale, open the arms and the heart. This, as we exhale, round the spine, let the backs of your hands come close. Inhale wide. Exhale round. Inhale wide. Exhale round. Now let's pull the wrist to the armpits. Sweep the arms back around. Pulling them in and sweep around. Pull in and sweep around. Once more, pull in and sweep around. And then let your palms press together. Let's lace our fingers. Push your palms away from the body. Breathe across the upper back, the back of our shoulders. Now let's inhale towards the sky. Begin to rotate at the waist towards the right. Let the arms float down. Once the fingertips have made it to the mat, sit a little taller and try to rotate a little farther to the right. Lift back up, rotate off to the left, let the arms float down, sitting a little bit taller, turn farther to look over your left shoulder. Let's inhale back.
back up. And exhale, let your fingertips float all the way to the floor. Begin to roll your shoulders from back to front. Increase into a little bit of an arm circle. And then finally some really big circles. Good, and then from there just open wide and hands to the heart. So let's take one more inhale in our seated position. On the exhale, we're gonna come forward onto those hands and knees. Once we've made it on hands and knees, we've got shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, tops of the feet on the mat, fingers widespread. I want you to press down through your second, third, and fourth finger knuckle area whenever you're bearing weight into your hands. Begin to sink your navel, and as you do that, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart for cow. Exhale, let's round up for cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Once more, inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Let's make our way back to that neutral place. We're gonna extend the right leg behind us and push out through the heel of that right foot. And then add your left arm forward and turn your palm towards the sky. Feel like you're stretching across the room. Exhale back down, we'll switch. Extend that left leg, right arm forward, turning palm towards the sky. Exhale, come back to all fours. Begin to separate the knees, keeping your big toes close together. Push that tailbone back towards your heels and then begin to sink your chest through your knees. Forehead on the mat. Keep extending out with those fingertips, but turn your palms to the sky and feel that stretch go even deeper down the sides of your body. Flip the palms back over, tuck your toes under, and let's lift our tailbone towards the sky. Allow your head to drop through extended arms and feel your ribs pulling closer to your thighs. Begin to walk your dog. Let's lift and lower each heel individually. Raise your heels at the same time and let them drop back down. Try again, let's raise our heels and then drop them down. Now let's inhale ourselves forward into plank. Feel that belly button holding tight, buttocks relaxed, pushing that body away from the mat. Exhale back up into down dog. Inhale to plank. And exhale down dog. Inhale again to plank. And exhale down dog. From there, let's ease ourselves down onto all fours. Start to draw yourself forward into a modified plank and then let your elbows open on the way down. Chest first, then our hips tuck the elbows in. Press through the tops of the feet and the hip bones, lengthen your spine and begin to rise into cobra. Exhale, we go back down. Inhale, rise cobra. Exhale, open down. And inhale, rise cobra. Now let's push all the way back again into extended child's pose. Press down through the palms, tuck the toes, and let's come back up into downward facing dog. Inhale, transition to plank. Modify if you'd like, exhale, lowering elbows wide, chest down, hips down. Elbows tuck in, inhale, rise, cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, we're back up into down dog. Inhale, return to plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lengthen, rise into cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Again, inhale to plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. A few more walks of the dog. 
Raising up both heels and press them back down. Let's take a giant step forward with the left foot. Once we have our foot in place, we want to make sure that we keep our knee over our ankle. Press down through your second, third, and fourth toe knuckles. Looking out and feeling that stretch from the heel of our right foot all the way out through the crown of our head. Let's drop our right knee, press through the top of the right foot, and reach to the sky for crescent moon. Fold forward, hands to the mat. Go ahead, tuck your right toes and return to lunge. Step the left foot back, hold on to your plank. Press back up into down dog. We walk our dog a few more times. Raising up those heels and then pressing them back down. From there, we step forward with our right foot. Again, once we've got it in place, we want to keep that knee positioned over the ankle. Pressing down through the second, third, and fourth toe knuckles, lengthening out through the heel of that left foot and the top of your head. Go ahead and sink down onto your left knee. Press through the top of your left foot. Reach to the sky, crescent moon. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat, tuck the toes, lift the knee. Now let's step that foot forward. Big toes, close heels apart. Let's inhale, roll the body up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale into the heart. Inhale again to the sky. And exhale to the heart. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, look out and exhale, sink deeper. Inhale, roll up, reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to the heart. Inhale again to the sky and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out and exhale, sink deeper. Let's step right foot back, left foot back plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank, and exhale again, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, roll up, reach and touch the sky. Exhale to your heart. Inhale again, extend and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Left foot back, right foot back plank. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank. And exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, rolling up, reach to the sky. Exhale, return to your heart. Inhale again, extend and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. And exhale, sink down. Right foot back, left foot back, plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. And exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, roll up. Reach to the sky. Exhale to our heart. Inhale again, extend and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale as we sink. Left foot back, right foot back, hold plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, roll up. Reach high, touch the sky. And exhale to your heart. Now let your arms extend long at your sides. And that brings us into standing mountain pose. Let's inhale, touch the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Extend the right leg behind you, have level. 
and push out through the heel of your right foot. Position your hands so they form a tripod with your left foot. And that simply brings us into tripod balance. So try to think about keeping your ribs lifting away from your front side so you're not sinking all the way down, kind of lengthen as you're here. If you want to, you can position your left thumb with your left pinky toe, roll the right hip open, and then add that right arm reaching to the sky for half moon balance. Exhale the hand down if it is lifted. Take a giant step back, bringing you into your runner's lunge. Now push the right heel down and turn your right toes out. Align your left heel with the back of your right heel, knees over ankles, we're lifting, balancing our body weight equally into both feet, pointing that tailbone straight down and feeling your body weight pressing into your second, third, and fourth toe knuckles on that left foot. Meanwhile, we've extended the arms to the sky, relaxing our shoulders away from our ears and breathing into warrior one. Let's lower the arms forward. Begin to draw your rib cage towards your front thigh and just continue and extend out through those fingertips. Now let's take the arms wide and that brings us into warrior airplane. And then let your hands return to the mat. Lift to the ball of our right foot, we're back in our lunge. Send that left foot back, holding onto your plank. Exhale as we lower, elbows are wide, chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Inhale, lengthen, rise into cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, return to downward facing dog. Inhale again into plank. And exhale, down dog. Right foot steps forward, left foot steps forward, toes are in, heels are out. Let's begin to bend the knees like we're sitting down in a tiny chair. Begin to lift your ribs away from your thighs and then add your arms alongside your ears for chair pose. Keep pulling those knees closer and closer together. Then let's inhale and rise from our chair. Exhale, hands return to the heart. And then let your arms hang long and we're back in standing mountain pose. Inhale again to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Now we're ready to extend the left leg behind us, hip level, push out through that heel. Position your hands so they form a tripod with your right foot. We can stay in tripod balance. And remember, you're lifting your upper body so that you're not just letting it drop forward. Or we can align our right thumb with our right pinky toe, open that left hip, add the left arm, bringing us into our half moon balance. Exhale, bring the hand back down if it's lifted. We all take that giant step back, bringing us into runner's lunge. Push your left heel down, turn your left toes out, and align your right heel with the back of your left heel. Start lifting upper body. Check in, is your knee over your ankle or you're pushing through your second, third, and fourth toe knuckles, hip bones forward, add your arms, or your one. the arms come forward and then begin to pull your ribs towards that front thigh and let the arms go wide for warrior airplane exhale your hands to the mat return to the ball of your left foot send your right foot back holding strong in plank exhale we lower down Inhale, we lengthen, rise into cobra. Exhale, we tuck our toes, downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank. 
and exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes in, heels out. Begin to bend those knees, sinking your hips. Pull your knees closer and closer together. Meanwhile, we're lifting our ribs from our thighs, adding our arms alongside our ears. And there's our chair pose. Inhale to the sky. Exhale to the heart. Let's inhale again to the sky. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, looking out. And exhale, folding deeper. Now let's cradle elbows in the palms of our hands. Let your head drop within that frame. And just breathe into your forward bend. Remember, you can bend your knees as much as you need to. Want to completely relax the upper body. Let your fingers return to the mat. Take a giant step back with your right foot, returning you to runner's lunge. From there, we're ready to walk ourselves around into a wide straddle. We're facing the wide edge of our mat. We've got shoulders over wrists. Knees are as bent as we need them to be. We're gonna inhale with our flat back and then exhale. See if you can melt a little deeper down. And just let the upper body be very loose. Nod your head yes. We'll shake it all now, and then just let it hang out. From there, let's press down into the palms, pushing our arms straighter and straighter. Slide your left hand over so it's centered beneath you, and then push on it with your right hand. Let's inhale right arm to the side and exhale revolve at the waist and that becomes our twisting straddle. Exhale, let's bring that hand back down. And then from there, we're gonna walk ourselves around so we end up facing the back edge of our mat, which means we are facing our right foot. Be on the ball of your left foot, so you're in your lunge. Now start lifting your upper body. That brings us into our high lunge. And then we can add the arms overhead, and there is crescent lunge. Let's open the arms wide. And then start pushing that left heel down, turning toes out. And let's pull the right leg straight. We're going to revolve the upper body. And that brings us into five-pointed star. Toes are in, heels are out, palms facing the sky. Top of the head is being drawn towards the sky. Breathe into all that open space. Rotate the palms to face forward. Start to let your hands come closer and closer. Fingertips are gonna meet. From there, we lace our fingers, press our index fingers together, breathe across the upper back and the back of our shoulders. And then let's bend the elbows so we can get our forearms and our elbows closer together. And then as we inhale, start to extend the arms towards the sky. Allow your upper arms to frame your head without feeling any tension in the neck or the shoulders. We're going to get a little bit taller out of our waist. Side stretch to your left. Let's come back up and side stretch to the right. Lift back up and let the arms reopen into your five-pointed star. Now we're ready to turn our left toes to the front end of our mat. Align your left heel with your right arch this time. And then bend your left knee. It finds its place out over your ankle without pushing past your toes. And there's our warrior two. So once you found that perfect warrior two, you should be able to stay here a really long time because everything's balanced and we're continually looking to extend a little bit farther, lift a little bit taller, 
breathe a little bit deeper. Let's extend the right arm up alongside the right ear. And then reach that left arm forward. Lift the left as we lower the right, turning palm to the sky. And there's reverse warrior. As we exhale, let's bring that left forearm to left thigh, right hand to the sky, or you could reach your left hand all the way to the mat. Then let's simply extend an angle pose. Now let that arm start to lower down. It's gonna make a full circle. On the way back up, return to warrior two. And then we're ready to pull that leg straighter and straighter. Once we've made it all the way up, we're ready to begin our triangle. Start to pull that right hip right. And then start stretching that left arm away from your right hip. Once we can't go any farther in either direction, we can lower the left and lift the right. And there's our triangle pose. So imagine while you're doing triangle, you're trying to press the back side of your body against a wall. Create the sensation that you're drawing that right shoulder a little bit back and pressing your right hip a little bit forward. Breathe. So I'm gonna take one more inhale. On the exhale, let's begin to revolve the upper body. Bend the left knee. Return to the ball of your right foot, bringing you back into your lunge. Step that left foot back, hold on to your plank. Exhale, we're lowering down. Inhale, we lengthen and rise into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, we're back up into down dog. Inhale, return to plank. You can stay there or you can add a push up. And then we're back up into downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and extend our right heel towards the sky, lengthening into our three legged dog. And then let's step the right foot through the hands, returning us to our lunge. Once there, push down into that left hand. Inhale, right arm to the side, and exhale. There's our twisting lunge. Exhale that hand down. Step the left foot in. Big toes close, heels apart. Bending our knees, we're gonna sit down in that tiny chair. Pull those knees closer and closer together. Lifting your ribs from your thighs, adding your arms alongside your ears. Chair pose. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, return to your heart. Inhale to the sky. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold deeper. Let's try cradling our elbows once again, forming that frame. Letting our head drop. And then letting your fingers release to the mat. Stepping back with our left foot brings us back into runner's lunge. And then from there, we're gonna walk ourselves around into our straddle. Toes are in, heels are out, hands directly under shoulders. Inhale into that flat back, exhale, bend the elbows, forearms drop, head drops. And remember, you can bend your knees as much as you need to, to ensure that you're letting go of your upper body. And then from there, let's push down into our palms and let the arms go straight. We're gonna slide that right hand over so it's centered beneath us. Push on it with your left hand. 
and then inhale, left arm to the side, exhale, revolve at the waist. There's our twisting straddle. Exhale, the hand down. From there, proceed to walk yourself around. So we're gonna face that left foot. We're on the ball of our right foot. We've made it back into lunge. And then from there, start lifting up our body into high lunge. And then adding your arms for crescent lunge. Let the arms open wide. Let's hinge forward into an airplane lunge. And then try lifting back up. Start to pull that left leg straight, pushing the right heel down. Let the arms go wide. Rotate the upper body. We end up facing the wide edge of our mat and we're back in five pointed star. Good, let your palms rotate to face forward and the hands come together. We'll lace our fingers and press those index fingers together. Bend the elbows so the forearms and elbows meet. And then from there, inhale, extend arms towards the sky, forming that gentle frame around our head. Lifting a little bit taller out of our waist. That side bend to the right. Come back up and side bend to your left. Lifting back up and letting your arms go wide. Now we're ready to turn our right toes to the front edge of our mat. Align your right heel with your left arch. And then when you're ready, bend that right knee. Find your warrior two. Feel that power of warrior two. Always extending a little bit farther through those fingertips. Feeling ourselves lifting a little bit taller. And then let the left arm lift alongside your ear. Extend the right arm forward. Now as we lift the right, we lower the left, and we're gonna turn that right palm to the sky, the reverse warrior. Good, and then from there, we're gonna bring the right forearm to right thigh or reach the right hand to the mat, left hand reaching to the sky. Extended angle pose. And then from there, start to lower the left arm. It's going to make a full circle. As it comes back into place, we lift the upper body and we're back into warrior two. From there, we're ready to pull our right leg straighter and straighter without locking. And it's triangle time. Left hip begins to pull left, left, left. Right arm's reaching far, far away. And once we can't go any farther in either direction, send the right hand down and the left hand high. And again, visualize your body pressed against the wall. So we're feeling our left shoulder pulling a little bit back and our left hip pressing a little bit forward. One more inhale as we are. On the exhale, start to revolve the upper body. Bend the right knee, return to the ball of your left foot, and there's our lunge. We'll send our right foot back so we're in our sturdy plank. Exhale as we lower down. 
Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank, remain there, or you could insert a push up. And then exhale back up into downward facing dog. Let's take the left leg, start extending it behind you, push out through the heel of your left foot. Three legged dog. And then from there, let's step that foot forward. So it comes right up between our hands, returning us to lunge. We'll keep pressing down through the right hand and then inhale, left arm to the side. Exhale, revolve at your waist, twisting lunge. Exhale, bring the hand down. Now step that right foot forward and we're back in forward bend. Again, we're bending the knees, sitting down in our tiny chair, pulling the knees closer and closer together so we're lifting our thighs, our ribs away from our thighs and then adding arms alongside the ears. And then from there, we'll inhale, rise from our chair. Exhale, hands to your heart. And then let your arms extend at your sides, bringing us back into standing mountain pose. So now I want you to find that focal point for your eyes and fixate on that spot. Feel the navel drawing in. Begin to shift your weight into your right foot. Once you're ready, bend the left knee so your heel comes up behind you. And then see if you can place the inside of your left foot in the palm of your hand. Let that right arm come forward. And then perhaps you can lift that right arm a little higher and elevate that left leg a little bit more. Dance or pose. Exhale. Let's return to our standing mountain pose. And we're ready for the other side. Same thing, we've got our focal point. We can feel our navel pulling in nice and tight, shifting our weight into our left foot this time, bending the right knee so that heel comes up towards the buttocks, placing the inside of that right foot in the palm of our hand, and then letting that left arm come forward. If you wish, you can open. As we exhale, come back into your standing mountain pose. Good, let's inhale, touch the sky. Exhale, open just the arms. We're gonna hook them together behind us. Roll the shoulder blades together, lift and open your heart center, and then tip your head back just enough to open your throat. Inhale to neutral spine. Exhale, start hinging forward. Lead with your ribs. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Feel your ribs press against your thighs. Let your head drop and then try lifting those arms higher towards the sky. As we exhale, let your hands release once they've made it back to the mat. Let's step back with our right foot and our left foot, returning us to our plank. Let's keep right shoulder over right wrist and move into side plank. Modify to the side of your knee if you'd like. Now come back around into your plank and press back up into down dog. Inhale again to plank and let's keep left shoulder over left wrist this time. Opening for side plank. Again, you can modify to the side of your knee if you'd like. Exhale. 
exhale around into full plank and come back up into down dog. Let's walk our dog a few more times. Raise up both of our heels and then let them drop down. From there, let's return to all fours. Belly button nice and tight. Extend the right leg behind you and push out through the heel. Add the left arm forward, turning palm to the sky. And then try lifting your left foot so it's not helping you balance. From there, let's bring the hand and the foot back down. Let your right toes touch down and then step your left foot back into plank. While we're here, I want you to push towards your heels. So you're just pushing your heels, feeling that stretch in your feet and then pull your heels back up. So push them towards the floor, pull them up, push, pull. Let's try one more push, pull. Good, now come back down onto all fours and we'll switch. We're gonna send the left leg behind us this time. Right arm is forward, rotating palm to the sky. And then try lifting your right foot so it's not helping you balance. Bring the hand and the foot back down, set your left toes down. Step the right foot back into your plank. Press towards your heels. Come back to the balls of your feet. Push towards your heels. Balls of the feet. Once more, push to the heels. Balls of our feet. And then let's press back up into down dog. Very good. From there, we're gonna come right down onto all fours. And let's step our right foot forward. We're gonna place both of our hands to the inside of the right foot and begin to pull the top of your left thigh towards the mat. While that's happening, see if you can walk your hands a little farther out and perhaps sink your forearms closer to the mat. We want to make sure that that left knee is still positioned over the ankle. And then try opening that right knee a little bit away from your body, so you're on the outer edge of your right foot. Let's bring the knee upright once again. So I'm gonna give you a couple choices here. You can remain in your dragon pose and keep sinking a little bit deeper as you breathe into those tight spots, or you could move into pigeon pose. If you wanna do pigeon pose, we're gonna walk ourselves up a little bit, and then we're gonna take that right heel, aim it at our left hip bone, and try opening the right knee to the outer edge of your mat. Meanwhile, let's inch the left leg a little bit further back, and we're gonna sink down. And we want to make sure that we're keeping our weight over the left hip and not sinking off into the right knee. And we'll, then I want you to push into the outer edge of your right pinky toe and press down to the tops of all five of your left toes. So we want to keep our pigeon pose active. So let's all inhale and start to lift. Once we're upright, we're gonna tuck our left toes under to lift the left knee, and then step that right foot back, and we end up in our plank. Press back up into down dog, and return to all fours. Now we're ready for the other side. So let's step our left foot forward. Both hands to the inside of our left foot. Start to pull the top of your right thigh towards the mat. Inch your hands a little farther out and then see if you can sink down a little deeper. We're keeping right knee over ankle. And then try opening the right knee away from your body a little bit so you're on the outer edge of your right foot.
And let's bring the knee upright once again. And I'm going to give you that choice of remaining in your dragon pose. Or if you want to do pigeon, we're going to bring ourselves upright. Then we're going to guide our left heel across the body. We want to aim it right at that right hip bone, opening the left knee to the edge of side edge of our mat, and then inching the right leg a little further back as we sink down. Keep your weight over your right hip so it doesn't venture off into your left knee. And then push down into the outer edge of your left pinky toe and the tops of all five toes on your right foot. And then wherever we are, let's inhale and start to lift the upper body. Tuck your right toes under to lift your right knee. Send the left foot back, returning us to our good strong plank. Try pushing towards your heels, returning to the balls of your feet. Again, push and pull. Once more, push and pull. And then ease to your knees, the tops of your feet. Separate your knees with your big toes touching and let's push back with our tailbone. Sink your chest between your knees. Let your forehead rest on the mat. Now let's take the left arm and pass it through the right armpit. See if you can sink your shoulder down and just let the weight of your body stretch that shoulder. Bring the arm out and we'll switch. Passing right through left, sinking the shoulder down. And then let's bring the arm out, press back a little bit further. And then let your palms press down, scoop the belly in, and let's round our spine for cat. Sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart, cow. Exhale, round cat. Inhale for cow. Exhale, round cat. And inhale for cow. And then just make your way back to neutral. From there, we're going to ease ourselves around into a seated position. And let's start by extending the legs out in front. Let's push out through the heels. Make sure you can feel those sit bones on the mat. Start to walk those hands forward. And as they're walking forward, we're pulling that belly button closer and closer to our thighs. And we're just going to ease our way down as far as we can go. And let's inhale and right back up. Once you've made it back up, let's bend the right knee. Let that foot walk in closer to your body. Keeping both of our sit bones on the mat. I'm going to wrap the left arm around the bent right leg. Inhale taller and straighter. And then exhale, start looking over that right shoulder. As we exhale, let's untwist. Place your hands on either side of that straight left leg and let them walk forward as you pull yourself a little farther forward. And now we're going to bind ourselves. So we're going to take that right arm and it's going to start wrapping around the bent right knee. Once it's around, see if you can bring your left hand around from the other direction. Now, if you need to, you could use some kind of extension like your sock or strap. And once you've got yourself connected, you're going to sit up nice and tall and start looking over our left shoulder.
As we exhale, let's untwist. Go ahead and stretch your legs out straight. Ankles are crossed. Hands on either side of our hips. Fold forward again. Think about belly button down, head down last. And then we'll inhale our way back up. Once we're back up, we can uncross the legs and now let's bend the left knee. Walk your foot in close. Got both of our sit bones on the mat. Take the right arm, let's wrap it around the bent left leg. Inhale, taller and straighter. Exhale, start looking over your left shoulder. Exhale as we untwist. Let your hands extend on either side of the straight leg. Try to walk a little bit further forward with those hands. And then we're ready to begin wrapping the left arm around the bent left knee. Again, if you want to try using some kind of extension, I'm going to bring that right arm around. And then once we've got ourselves connected, we're going to lift and sit tall. And then start looking over your right shoulder. Exhale as we untwist. Go ahead, extend the leg. We can cross at our ankles. Again, hands on either side of the straight leg. Start folding forward. Think about belly button to your thighs. Head goes down last. and then we can inhale ourselves back up. Let's uncross the ankles and bend our knees. We're gonna place our hands behind our thighs, relax our shoulders away from our ears, hold the belly button in super tight and then balance on your tailbone. When ready, start extending your legs, go where you can without rounding your back. And then see if you can extend the arms. And slowly begin to open down, down to the ground. Once down, push out through your heels, reach out through your fingers. Stretch a little bit farther with your left arm and your left leg. And a little bit farther with right arm and right leg. And then let your body go soft. Inhale the arms up and exhale, return them to your sides. From there, let's go ahead and bend the knees, walk the feet in. Space your feet apart about hips distance. Keep your toes in and your heels out. Enough space between your buttocks and your heels that when we lift up into bridge, we're gonna be activating the gluteals and the hamstrings. So we don't want you feeling this in the top of your thighs or your knees. We're gonna keep the weight out of our, our neck and let it reside in our shoulders. And then inch by inch, let's come back down one segment at a time. And once we've made it all the way down, pull your knees to your chest. Give yourself a nice tight hug. Feel that stretch going down the length of your spine into your gluteals. Do a couple knee circles around and around. And then let's reverse. And then just keep the knees centered. And let's extend the legs towards the sky. Arms at your sides, palms facing up. So this is a very modified version of shoulder stand. Feel free to stay like this. If you want to venture into full shoulder stand, remember there's no weight in the neck. So you have to really use those abdominals to do the lifting and the holding.
Now, if you're in full shoulder stand, I want you to bend your knees and bring them to your ears. If you're in modified shoulder stand, you're simply bringing your knees into your chest. Full shoulder stand, people. Arms to the mat as we roll down. And that brings us all into that knees to chest position. Let's rest the feet back down. Again, toes and heels out slightly, feet hips distance apart. We're going right back up into bridge. And again, we wanna feel this in the gluteals and the hamstrings, not the knees or the thighs. As we exhale, let's begin to melt back down. And then once we've made it all the way down, let's extend the left leg out straight. We'll keep the right knee bent, put on the mat. Open your arms wide. You're gonna shift our hips a tiny bit to the right. Tuck the right toe behind the left knee and then use that left hand to guide that left knee towards the earth. Inhale the knee back up. And then we'll switch. Let's slide the right leg out straight, bend the left knee. Arms go wide, begin to shift your hips a tiny bit to the left. Tuck the left toe behind the right knee and then use that right hand to guide your left knee towards the mat. And then from there we'll come back to Neutral center. Rebend both of our knees and bring your knees to chest. Let's do a couple more massaging knee circles around. And then let's reverse. And then we'll just keep the knees in neutral. Start to open them. Start by just keeping the big toes close and aiming your knees out over your shoulders. Really press your spine into the mat. Now start to open the knees wider. Let the soles of your feet come together. Let the outer edges of your feet just rest in the palms of your hands and pull your heels closer to your body. Now we're gonna separate the feet, keep the knees bent. Push your flat feet towards the sky and then pull down with your hands. And there's our dead bug. Start to straighten your legs. And as you're doing that, pull them open wider and wider. And there's our lying fan. And then we're ready to pull our legs closer together. Feel like you're pulling your toes over your head. And then let's release one leg. It's going to slowly melt down. Once it makes it all the way down, let's release the other. And then once it's all the way down on the mat, arms restful at your sides, palms to the sky, and let your body start to completely let go. So seek out any spots that feel like they're still kind of tense or tight and breathe some relaxation into those spots.
while we're in this final relaxation, visualize the blueness of the sky. Feel that soft breeze blowing across your body. And listen for the sounds of nature, the birds, the rustling of the leaves, the little squirrels, Surround yourself with people who make you happy. People who make you laugh, who help you when you're in need. People who genuinely care. They are the ones worth keeping in your life. Everyone else is just passing through. Let us send away all of our anxious thoughts. Make a choice to live today with courage, with an open heart and a grateful heart and a hopeful heart. Spread those random acts of kindness whenever and wherever you can. Remember that my soul honors your soul. I honor the place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the light, the love, the truth, the beauty, and the peace within you because it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are united, we are the same, we are one. Namaste. Right, my friends I hope you feel renewed and ready to face the day looks like it's getting right out there so make sure you spend some time in nature given that we couldn't do our class this morning outside thank you so much for joining me have a great rest of your day be healthy be safe and I'll be back tomorrow night to let you know what we're doing on Monday take care bye-bye